Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I'm going to be building my toddler house bed thing. <laughs> um, and apologies if I don't sound great. I'm not really well at the moment. I don't know why. I just keep getting unwell. I don't know if it's because I'm just working too hard. And I also want to say I do have a Discord now. If you want to join, I will have the link in the description. It's a place where you can just chat about general things. You can post pictures of your art, of your pets. We also have a Sims section if you want to talk about Sims, if you need any help. Um, build suggestions, you can post pictures of your builds. And I will have a promote section like coming up and once you've been in the server for so long I'll allow people to be able to promote their channels um, and their videos and stuff like that so I'm gonna go ahead and build a room uh, whatever size room I want this will do I find this works better on the medium wall height or the tall wall height but you can do it on the shortest wall height I'll go ahead and go down to the half walls and I use the 2.25 wall height which is the more than medium half wall and for the toddler bed you need three spaces wide but for the kids bed you would need four i'm gonna go ahead and do the kids bed because i haven't done that one two three four so it's this wide and i've just done two walls coming out from that i think i did the platform first on the other build but it doesn't really matter which way you do it <coughs> But you hit that platforms get rid of your walls I feel like I went about that in a really roundabout way so don't mind me with that <laughs> do you the kid one I might do this slightly taller think about it because kids are taller didn't actually think about that so I'm gonna go for the 2.5 instead of the 2.25. I'm gonna pop a wall here because I want the awning to snap to this wall and then just pick an awning. I found out not all of them works because there's a base game awning and your sim can't actually walk under it which I found weird that it doesn't work for the base game one. Um, which awning should I use? This one works because I can do two next to each other. I could do like, oh, a snowy escape themed one would be quite cool. I'm gonna go with this one, the snowy escape. So, just gonna go ahead and raise that up. Think about there. Right. And then I'm gonna go ahead and delete these walls and the back walls. The reason I do that is because otherwise the awnings snap to the walls and we don't want that to happen. And sometimes it's a good idea to get rid of these walls as well. Um, I'm gonna actually do that just because it's easier. You don't have to, you can sort of work with them, but it's just so much easier. So let's line these up. I'm just raising these up to line up and I use the nine key to raise items. But on some people's computers, it's control nine and on some people's computers, it's also alt nine. Yeah, I think that looks cute. So I'm just gonna draw my wall back in and then draw my half walls back in. Now I'm going in with the 1.25 half wall. I'm going across the front and you can do it like this. I think on my last one, I just did a full wall there, but I think I want it like this for this version. And I might as well go ahead and use the snowy escape stairs because oh, have I raised this up enough? I didn't raise the platform, you can but you can do this at any time because now this is a room. I'm just gonna raise it up one more time. Now you can just go ahead and place your bed and like I said, if you want a toddler bed you don't need it this wide, but I do need a children's one, so I'm just gonna grab a single bed. Um, so I'm just gonna go in with the snowy escape bed and just alt this up there. So that's pretty much it for the basic build, but I'm gonna go ahead and just speed through me decorating the area.
So as always, here's a little mini walkthrough. Obviously there's not much, it's only one little room and I didn't add too much because I wanted to keep it pretty clean. Oh, I'm gonna zoom out because that is way too close for comfort. So I've got this area here, I kept pretty simple. I didn't even put anything on the shelves. I maybe should have, um, I'm not gonna lie, I sort of forgot. And I've just put a vase here. I know this is a kid's room, but if you look at a lot of traditional Japanese homes, they have this little platform area with a like a nice piece of artwork on there. So I just picked this vase. We've obviously got the star of the room, which is this bed. Obviously not very traditional to Japanese culture at all, but it's just a little bit of fun. I've just added a little station thing here. I don't even know if this is for kids. I don't know if it's toddlers or kids. I don't actually play the game, so um, <laughs> I'm not sure. I've made this area a wardrobe. I didn't actually put anything in it, but I have made it into a wardrobe. You could just place items in there and you sim should be able to access it. I've made a little laptop area because obviously kids nowadays, everybody has a laptop. And I've used this seat. Um, I did a little bit of a get around for this. So if you can see, there's a shelf here and that's what the computer's on. And there is the the laptop is actually sat on a table that I've shrunk and you can see that is slightly sticking out in this basket but that's why the basket there is to cover it and then this chair which you normally cannot sit on um, at a desk what I've done is you can see here I've sized down the actual chair and then this item is in the basement and I've just raised it up so it'll make it look like your sim is sitting at this chair I think that works um, I might not have placed the chair in the perfect position it's one of them things you'd have to play around with to get exactly right but just for this build I quickly did it and I added a bonsai tree and a little light here some Japanese art love the simplicity of just the deep black on the white background and we've got one of the spirit dolls added some windows and obviously blocked it off with some blinds because otherwise people will be directly looking at your bed We've got the bed here, um, maybe we should put a plant there or something. And again, I kept it really, really simple, but I added this on the inside. So it just that is it for this little build. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you in my next video.